So this is your test from uh, the one you took on Monday. So make sure that you are looking through the, each of the questions to see which ones the ones you got wrong. And then just go watch the video for those that you got wrong. So here's number one, a grocery store clerk put only packages of flour tortillas and packages of corn tortillas on a shelf. The ratio of the number of packages of corn tortillas to the total number of packages on the shelf was 7 to 16. Which number could be the number of packages of flour tortillas the clerk put on the shelf? So let's go back and read it again, because usually on the first try we do not know what they're talking about. So I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and underline what I do know. So it's flour tortillas, corn tortillas, and then we also have total. So I'm going to put flour, corn, and total. So if I have seven flour tortillas and the total is 16, actually it's corn tortillas, not flour. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that because I made a mistake. And that's a common mistake some of us do. So that means I have total 16 packages. So I need to know which one's a possible number. So in this case, if I have 16 total and I have 7 of the corn tortillas, then that means I'm going to have 9 of the flour tortillas. So now that I have all those filled out, I'm going to go ahead and look at what they're talking about. So which could be the number of packages of flour tortillas? So which could be? So they're trying to see what it could be. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply it by 2. So that's going to be 18, and this is going to be 14, and this is 32. So we're looking for flour tortillas, so that means that my answer is letter B because that's what they asked us and that's what your answer should have been. So go ahead and make sure that you understand the ratio table. Make sure you're using the ratio table in order to solve the problems because this is the only way you're going to see the relationship between all the numbers.